I tell you, Janice, it's got to be slick. Oh, no, it won't work, Roger. It's too uncertain. But there's nothing to go wrong. Now listen. Those custom boys are used to naive, stupid smuggling. We've got to be smart, that's all. And you think your idea is? Look, Janice, why isn't it? We get on the boat. We're strangers. We never speak to each other. No one on the boat can connect us in any way. Now, I get off first, and right away I have my trunk and bags examined. By the time I'm through, you're off and you're waiting. Then... Yes, but that timing. How can I be sure there won't be a lot of people under letter G and only me at K? For heaven's sake, Janice, you can stall somehow. We'll be near enough to each other to see how things are going. Okay, okay. Then I pick up my three bags and walk over toward you. I'm clumsy and I don't see where I'm going. I bump into you, and as I do, you drop my wallet. I pick it up. With your hands full of bags, I suppose. Well, maybe you pick it up. Hmm. We don't have to rehearse a scene like that. If anyone thinks he sees you drop it, my initials and identification will prove it's mine, especially as I've just been through the customs. It'll look as if I had it in my hand. Hmm. Sounds good, Roger. Good. It's perfect. Why, with a diamond market the way it is, we'll clean up in America, honey. Roger, if this works... You're a genius. That all you want to declare, Mr. Griswold? Uh, that's all. You're clear then, Mr. Griswold. Guess you're glad to be home. I certainly am. And more than you can guess. Yeah, it must be pretty tough in Lisbon, even for Americans. Oh, can you manage that packing by yourself? Oh, yes, thanks. I must be clumsy about this now. Ah, there's Janice, good girl. She's just arrived. Fine. Well, here we go. I beg your pardon. Well, why don't you look where you're going? Oh, oh just a minute. I, I think you dropped this wallet. What? Oh, yes, yes. I, I guess I did. Oh, thanks very much. Wait a minute, sir. He didn't drop that, miss. You did. Oh, no, you're mistaken. That isn't my wallet. Well, indeed it isn't. I saw you drop it, miss. Say, what's going on here? Oh, nothing's going on. This gentleman ran into me and dropped his wallet, and I picked it up, and that's all. How do you know it's his wallet? Well, because his initials are on it. Oh, they are, are they? What are your names? Janice Kite. I'm Roger Griswold, but I don't Well, see... Janice Kite and Roger Griswold, you're both under arrest for smuggling. Look here, you can't arrest me for smuggling. Well, you remember I asked you, Miss Kite, how you knew it was his wallet that had dropped. Mm, yes. You said you knew it was his because his initials were on it. Well, aren't they? Yes, his initials are there, all right, but on the inside. And when the wallet dropped to the floor, it didn't fall open, so you couldn't have seen them. Therefore, I knew you had previous knowledge of them. Yes, you two had a nice little package of 15 diamonds in that wallet. And now, how about a free ride to the station house? 